Hello my friends, uh, welcome to other technical analysis for Bitcoin uh, As usual, one video for macro time frames every week Okay, in this video we are going to talk about a weekly chart, a monthly of a one day chart uh, As you can see here, Bitcoin closed uh, this weekly chart Actually, that is, this, one is one, this close is one of the worst closing weekly chart uh, Because, well, Bitcoin uh, broke the $38, $39,000 in weekly basis and now it's testing the lowest point. Now I can see Bitcoin. People are extremely bearish, thinking Bitcoin is gonna break. Is gonna break down. Yes, actually you're right. I'm expecting the same thing. But that is the problem. You are thinking to enter in short here right now at thirty-four thousand dollars, my friend. You are in the worst place to enter in short. Between thirty-six to thirty-four, that is, I think. I'm sorry for saying this, but just gamblers and people without experience in the markets will do that, something like that. You are making money right now. Okay, good luck with that. Just protect your entry, and that, that's it. Because as a trader, the short was around 39, 38 maximum. It's actually forty thousand dollars at level. But here shorting, no, thank you. It's not with me. You want a short? Good luck. Mm -hmm. So, Bitcoin is testing the lowest point in weekly chart, as you can see here. Uh, in the low in the week was in January second one was in, in yes yeah, two we have two weeks in January and also the next one is in February and now again so first I am expecting a bounce because I am expecting Bitcoin is just gonna crash like this right like this uh, Bitcoin to zero like this I don't think so people are expecting something like this like something like happened in 2020 like Bitcoin just crashed 50% just at once I am expecting something like this. Uh, Bitcoin spent maybe a couple of days here trying to uh, maybe in sideways a bounce, and after that you see the continuation to the downside. But uh, first of all, in very short term, I mean I'm talking about maybe just four hour chart, two hour chart, uh, maybe just a couple of days. I'm expecting Bitcoin is going to have maybe at least a, a bounce, maybe 30, 35, 36. The reason is very simple because we have a gap in CMEs. Of course, I am not a big fan of uh, of gaps, but usually. Uh, in the short term, when the gap is not that big, is usually uh, they play very good. So, uh, yeah, in the short term, maybe uh, around maybe 35, 36, and my friend, I will say that it's gonna be a short. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually, I'm waiting for that. Mm -hmm. But now, Bitcoin, uh, any close uh, below this area, I mean, $34,400, uh, I, I will send me one day chart closing below there. You will see full leg down around 28. Uh, I am expecting $30,000 is gonna hold. No, actually, around $28,000 is gonna be the area I'm gonna start looking for. And from there, I'm expecting a bounce. Yes. This bounce, for example, something like this. Yes. And uh, if you, I see something like this, I am expecting a bounce. Yes. Potentially from here. Yes. And after that, continuation to the downside. Something like this. Okay. So. Let me be clear with my, my positions. My last short was at thirty-eight thousand dollars, a four hundred around there, and I closed my position around thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-five thousand dollars around there, and this leg down from thirty-four, thirty-five to thirty-six, I didn't take it because well, risk management for me is the most. Um, that's it. that's it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's talk about in indicators. Bitcoin finally, finally for first time in since 2019 is below the zero line so technically speaking you can expect around november uh, around six months six months of bear market because uh, this in average when bitcoin is in, in this area according to the back testing of course is around uh, let me see around uh, two or three months yeah so the good news for you is for us sorry in the next three months around here around september october november around there uh, we will see potentially the bottom of this market if you are asking me 3k is the bottom of the market uh, the this market of course not this is actually just a start bitcoin is a starting because is this is just uh um all this area is a big massive distribution pattern in my personal opinion mm -hmm. so we are gonna see about the break just at the beginning so that means bitcoin if breaks till in till eight thousand dollars you will see the big bounce here and around here following the weekly chart you will see this year rejection and i am expecting my lowest point is around fourteen fifty thousand dollars in the long term so that is something i am expecting of course if i want you want to you are bullish on bitcoin you are thinking no 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 bitcoin to 100k this year 
Okay, it's valid. So that in that case, you need to see Bitcoin at least testing twenty-eight thousand dollars, and the bounce you will see here significant. I mean, I am, I am, I need to tell you very powerful, breaking all the resistance right now we have because this all these areas are macro resistance. All this area, uh, you see something like this breaking the around forty thousand dollars, and also testing here. After that, yeah, to the moon, yes. Mm -hmm. So that is the thing. Uh, Bitcoin uh, has a lot of work to do. So I will be very careful right now in the markets. As I said, I am very happy because all my technical analysis and macro time frames when I posted this in November, actually, is working very good. Actually, very very good. I am very very happy. Uh, for example, Solana, Solana breaking the previous low. Of course, I am expecting a bounce. Yes, continuation to the downside. Yes, maximum 40, 40 is the level. Yes, total market cap two. For example, here breaking the, the previous low here. Uh, of course, I'm expecting a bounce. Yes, but any close below one, uh, you will see continuation to the downside. So it's a it's a process. Uh, actually, this this uh, this week, as I said, maybe a couple three or four, three or four days, I'm expecting a bounce. Now let's talk about the monthly chart. Sorry, no, not the monthly, it's too soon. Let's talk about the one, the five-day chart. Five-day chart here, as you can see here, we have ADX positive here, uh, crossing the zero line here. So this is very concerning because every time when we have the ADX positive here, look at this, uh, what happened after that? So Bitcoin in average is, uh, or you have a massive, up, uh, ma massive uh, move to the upside or to the downside, for example, here, in this case, we have around 25. So from this point around here, 25, you can expect $28,000 in some point this week. Now, the gap between the volume, as you can see here, is expanding here. And potentially in the, with the next low, for example, if Bitcoin is breaking 28 or it's testing the 28, we will have a potential bullish divergence in progress as long as the OBB is not breaking the previous low. So, but we, we will have to wait now. Um, the three-day chart, very important, very important chart. Why? Because this setup was working perfectly, as you can see here. Technically speaking, as you can see here, I was entering in short here because I know it was a test of the MA200, sorry, the mobile, mobile average 200 here. And here at $40,000, I was in short around $38,000 for hundred around there. And after that, I closed around this area. Yes, but as I said before, you are thinking just to short here right now, I mean, good luck, good luck with that, because it's not with me. Mm -hmm. So, the 3 day chart is continuation, of course, yes, it's continuation. Uh, the lowest point is 31, $30,000, 28 around here. This area is going to start, I am start looking for a macro bounce. Oh, no, not a macro bounce, a big bounce, actually, yes, significant bounce here. So, a uh, very short term, at, uh, a bounce and continuation. That is that is the thing I'm trying to say, okay? so. ADX is positive here. The consolidation, here, well, the we have a, a con, um, the volatility is contracting in three days, so you can expect maybe two or three months to the downside, but not very strong actually. I'm expecting something more relaxed. Here we have consolidation here. Uh, the volatility is contracting, sorry, and also we have ADX positive crossing the 23 line, 23 level. For today chart is destructive. I need to be honest with you. So every time when we have this top uh, ADX about 23 in macro time frames, you can expect 20 30 person move. Now let's talk about the one day chart. Finally, the one day chart. We are going to talk about this in the live stream, but this is very interesting here. Here, one day chart. You are in the lowest point, in the lowest point for Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. So all this area between 34 and 31. I will not short anything. Yeah. First of all, my rule as a trader is I need to see, I need to see a bounce first. After the bounce, yes, I can maybe I can short if I want, mm -hmm. but not never when the price is just testing the macro, uh, well, the area of demand in one day chart. So no, thank you. It's not with me. So that's why it's, a, it's about risk management. Okay. So when the chart we have a bullish resistance in progress, of course. I am expecting maybe some invalidations, maybe this week. Yes, it's very close actually. Uh, any cl any close below 34, you will see a invalidation of these potential bullet divergences. Actually, you will see something like this. If you see something like this, it's going to be very, very bad for the price because that means that the pressure to the downside is still on and it's going to be very bad. For example, something like this, right? 
you see this is the invalidation and uh, this is something like this it's very bad because usually when you see something like this you will see a massive letdown actually in the long term now uh, when the chart is free fall zero line broken in what we be so i am not bullish i was not bullish i mean I am not bullish on bearish, just I am not I wasn't expecting something like quite massive for Bitcoin to the upside. Um, I mean YouTubers they are talking about this maybe this weekend. I'm talking about this for maybe one month. So it's not something like new, it's not something new in you are following this channel and also especially you're in my, my private uh, uh, channels on Discord. So this is very bad, of course, no sh no long setups right now here for Bitcoin, as long as Bitco uh, Bitcoin is uh, slow, uh, is positive here in ADX. Now, let's talk about the 4-hour chart. The 4-hour chart is very, very, very short term. We have bullish range forming, yes, but we have we still have the ADX positive here. So, my best scenario right now for Bitcoin is uh, just being sideways here in this area, yes, but I am looking for bounce, I am not looking for shorts. The shorts, as I said before, if I see the bounce, the price is bouncing here, yes, potentially that is going to be my next short, but I, I will wait. Mm -hmm. For now, there is no setup, no shorts, no longs for me, I will just wait, just wait, that is the best trade for me mm -hmm, right now. So even a 12 hour chart is very bad. And now let me show you something here. The monthly chart is very, very interesting here. Uh, Bitcoin, for first time this year, for first time, close below the MA21. Remember, Bitcoin is not uh, the MA21 is not very friendly with with Bitcoin in monthly chart. Mm -hmm. Yes, you will see some bounces. Yes, two three months after that, you will see a massive crash. So technically speaking, you can expect the same thing here for Bitcoin. So. ME55 here, uh, after Bitcoin broke the ME21, the next target is ME55. After you see the, the, the ME21 broken, ME55. So what you can expect here, same thing, ME55 tested, right? Around 25. Uh, honestly, this time I am not expecting um, at, uh, ME55 is gonna hold at once like this, because for first time in the history we have a bear divergence in monthly chart for many indicators. So. I am expecting actually uh, a week, uh -huh, uh, mid twenties. Uh, uh, sorry, between eighteen and to fourteen thousand dollars. I am expecting something like this. Yeah, um, you can call it maybe potentially capitulation. Maybe yes, but mid twenties that is the problem. Many people they are expecting. Oh yeah, mid twenties is the bottom. Is the bottom? Well, according to my system, I don't think so because the volume is technically nothing. There is nothing to support the price around mid twenties. So that's why I will start expecting. I am expecting Bitcoin is going to start looking for a uh, area of demand. And where is the area of demand? Well, between eighteen thousand dollars. This is, I mean, it's not relevant for me. I'm going to start looking for between fifteen and eleven thousand dollars. This area as a massive week capitulation for the markets. So, but as I said before, it's going to take a long time. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe just today Bitcoin is going to break down. Maybe, but I don't think so. The reason for this is because I'm expecting Bitcoin is doing something more like 2018 instead of 2020. This in this area for me just was a uh, easy play for market makers entering panic and buy and to the moon, right? And he, this price action is looking for me more like 2020. So Bitcoin is gonna be between thirty thousand dollars here, twenty eight, and this is gonna be the next six K for quite long time, maybe at least this year. So something like this, right? For example, here testing bounce testing bounce testing and you will see testing in 55 and after that break down here and after that to the moon right something like that it's, it's just a speculation okay so that's why uh, um when people i see people extremely bearish because now right now for first time in long time finally i can see the youtuber crypto youtubers are scared about the markets finally mm -hmm. um I am expecting a bounce first and after a continuation. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so for me as a trader, this is about risk management. No shorts, no longs right now here, uh, because they are they. I cannot see the setup for that. Mm -hmm. So even for even one hour chart, I think we don't have any setup. 
let me see right now. No, we don't have any setup for, for, for longs because ADX is still positive. Mm -hmm. So the best thing here for me is just sideways bounce. And after that, I will just the trend is my friend and the trend is to the downside. So I'm going to start looking for shorts if I see the bounce first. Okay. So I think that's it, guys. That's it. I finished ah, one thing. The UCT dominance. We're going to talk about this. Uh, a lot a lot of a, a lot in the live stream uh, but as i said to you i am very bullish i was very bullish uh, ucd because we have monthly breakout in progress and now what is happening right now that's why macro time frames is the most for me is the most okay you could have a very good setup in four hour chart but you see you don't watch macro time frames well good luck mm -hmm. This is a monthly breakout as you can see here this month you will see this one and next month maybe the next two three months you will see this asset doing a new ata so that's why eventually you will see bitcoin breaking thirty thousand dollars and you will see bitcoin actually it could be possible like maybe this bear market is gonna be even worse than the 2019 yeah maybe yeah there is a probability because this time as i said before uh, uh, 2018 and 2020, we didn't have monthly bear market, monthly monthly bear divergences, but this time we have. Um, I don't want to say something like this right now because I need to see the price testing the MA55, but probably, probably based on the price action and how is developing right now the price, and especially by monthly, by monthly is very far away, very very far away. Um, Bitcoin will have a very hard time uh, holding the MI55 this time in weekly chart because now the problem with that time is because in 2017, 2018, people were not talking about these kind of things in weekly chart. Mm -hmm. For example, here now they see ah you see the bottom is here. Weekly chart is the MA200, and it's quite popular right now. Many people they are talking about this. The problem with that is market makers they know this, so um that's why i don't like to use uh very popular indicators or technical analysis because usually when you see like something like many people they are they can see at the same time usually it's the opposite thing so uh 64 i am defensive in the markets i wasn't defensive in the market i mean since november 2021 right uh, this is not new so i still recommend you don't get too bearish and not too greedy uh -huh. because i can see even in my group some people they are extremely greedy right now i mean short in the market i mean oh my god i don't know i don't know what to say just be careful okay so guys thank you very much for watching as i said before we are going to talk about this in uh, more uh, more also we are going to do technical analysis for altcoins in the live stream thank you for watching